It should be ready to go. Hi. No? Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Right uh, my name is Mike. <laughs> um, I'm a constituent of Winnipeg South, and uh, I am a meteorologist by profession. I've been for some 45 years now, and uh, worked with Environment Canada as a meteorologist and retired as a regional director. I am very concerned that we have signed the Paris Accord without a plan mm. in place and that we continue to think that we can harvest oil from the ground, ship it all over the world, and not invest in the new technologies to the extent that's needed to achieve the commitments under the Paris Accord. I am very concerned that we have, again, are failing our country and failing the world. Signing the Paris Accord was a major achievement. During the last number of weeks, you will have seen that the government of Canada has committed to establishing a price on carbon pollution, a price that will begin at $10 a ton in 2018 and rise $10 for the four years after that, after which there will be another tranche of policy. We believe that 80% of Canadians are now living in a province under some kind of pricing regime. They're not all the same. British Columbia has imposed a carbon tax that's revenue neutral. Alberta has a scheme. Ontario and Quebec have cap and trade systems. But the government of Canada says there must be more and there must be more quickly. In order to begin our route to meeting our international climate responsibilities. But that's not where it begins. We are investing billions of dollars in green infrastructure. We are incenting the private sector in green renewable technology. We are looking at the federal government as a major user of vehicles as we invest in electric vehicle charging stations as we invest in hydrogen fuel cell technologies, as we invest in demand side management so people don't turn on the appliances when they don't need them. We are investing in countless ways right across this country for the federal government to show leadership within its own area of operation, to incent the private sector, and to look at innovation and creativity in order to bring us closer to a sustainable energy economy. This is not something that anyone believes is going to happen overnight, but the trajectory is clear. We are investing considerably in those technologies on our own and with the private sector. Okay, gentlemen back there.